Ladies and gents, welcome back. If I look a little groggy, it's because I went to my daughter's violin concert last night and it ran a little late, but I don't regret it. And, uh, well, let's get into the stories here. If you donated to the Freedom Convoy, they're coming for your money, they said. They're, you're going to get sued. <laughs> well, how much, uh, how much validity did that have? Well, we'll have a look here on True North. City of Ottawa has no plan to recover Freedom Convoy costs from organizers. So the, the narrative has been that we're, we're coming after the people who donated. We're coming after the organizers and, well, we're coming for so much money. How much money? Well, I've heard figures up to $300 million. It's been extraordinary, some of the claims that I've heard on social media. But hey, let's have a look at what the, the truth to the matter is. A report submitted to Ottawa City Council says the municipality has no plans to try to recover any of the estimated $37 million in costs from Freedom Convoy organizers. Estimated. Estimated costs. So, <laughs> anyway, this uh, is according to a formal question to, to city staff from Ottawa Councillor Riley Brockington. Brockington. What are, what are the final costs of policing during the convoy occupation and what is are the legal plans to recoup the funds in particular from convoy organizers and others? Question mark. The whole idea of uh, getting getting donations, or people who donated to pay for this. Brocklington, Brocking, Brockington asked his, this in his inquiry. The costs of the occupation were borne by the Ottawa Pol Police Services as federal government was under has undertaken to make the city of Ottawa and the Ottawa Police Service Board whole in this regard. There is no plan to try to recover those amounts from the convoy organizers, appreciating also that there are no legal authority in municipality to do so, city staff wrote in their reply. Interesting. So they don't even have an authority to go after them. City Council is anticipating the Ottawa Police Service's second quarter financial report in July. This report is expected to detail the full cost of the police service police force incurred from its response to the January and February protests. According to staff, both the OPS and the city will endeavor to recover their costs through the National Capital Extraordinary Policing Contract. <laughs> There's an acronym for it with Public Safety Canada. So they're going to go after the federal government for uh, reimbursement for this. The crazy long acronym is a contributing a, a contribution program meant to assist in the capital city with its law enforcement costs given Ottawa's unique policing environment created by the presence of federal landmarks, institutions, and events of national significance. Hey, what what do you know? They already had something in place to cover the costs of brunt the forest, uh, brunt the cost of protests. Uh, that take place on the national capital. It was first introduced following a Parliament Hill terrorist attack in 2014. Okay, so that's uh, that's interesting. The staff report says police and bylaw officers officers issued 3,812 parking tickets and 318 provi provincial citations for things like traffic violations and excessive noise. Tickets were issued for offenses such as traffic and bylaw violations, including violations such as use of sound reproduction device on a highway <laughs> encumbering a highway by vehicle or other means causing permitting unusual noise that disturb inhabitants of the city. An unlicensed mobile refreshment vehicle <laughs> and failure to comply with COVID public health orders. Many of these tickets are being challenged. Challenge! Challenge that ticket! That is the uh, the thing here. But what have we been hearing on social media? I've been hearing all kinds of stuff, rumblings. And these, all, these are all stemming from old articles. So this is an old article from, what is this, the, da, 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 the Star... Ottawa woman seeks to sue Freedom Convoy protesters in, what is it? $9.8 million lawsuit. <laughs> Here we go. 
<laughs> this is crazy. On Friday, Ottawa resident uh, Zexi Zeji, I don't know how to pronounce that, Zeji Lee filed a lawsuit seeking damages for emotional and mental distress, headaches, sleep, sleeping difficulties, difficulty concentrating, and interfering with quiet enjoyment of their home. So anytime somebody <laughs> decides to give you a hard time or you, you can't have trouble having trouble sleeping, you're you're definitely entitled to 9.8 million dollars. This is yeah, it's absurd. With their GoFundMe account now frozen, the participants of the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa are now also facing a lawsuit from Ottawa a woman who has opened her her case up for others to join as a potential class action on Friday, Ottawa. Okay, yeah. Anyways, this is a an old lot, an old article for back in February. I haven't heard anything more of this thing going through. Here's another article from back in February 18th. This one from Yak Stack. If you if you donated to the Freedom Convoy, you're getting sued. Uh, for you today, I sat through some of the most egregious. And one-sided reporting on the planet compliments of CTV on their coverage of the trucks being cleared out of downtown Ottawa. Yes, it was pure garbage. But one thing I just learned was through the go though the government may not be coming for your bank account yet, this guy is. Here comes Paul Champ. What a champ! What a champ! Paul Champ meets Paul Champ, principal, lawyer, and champ and associates. This guy. Who got the injunction on the truckers for the horn honking? So this guy, this is the guy who's who tried to get like something like fourteen different things on that injunction was only awarded the please don't honk injunction, <laughs> and it was only for ten days. Uh, principled, principled lawyer with a success rate of uh, getting an injunction for honking. This is the guy who, yeah, yeah. Uh, he also he's also the guy who's working on the class action lawsuit against the truckers, organizers, and Freedom Convoy with these guys, um, the the data driven decisions. Okay, or no, that's just an ad. <laughs> because you donated to the truck drivers, you knew full well that your donations were going to be funding illegal occupations and consisting or, and costing the downtown businesses and residents of Ottawa their livelihoods. You need to have the foresight to know that the federal government wasn't going to follow the provinces in easing up the mandates and passports and that this occupation of Ottawa would last three weeks. You should have had the foresight to know that Trudeau's government would not cave in this situation. <laughs> Originally, Paul was reportedly going to ask for $4.8 million for the private nuisance and another $5 million. You can't make this up. It's hilarious. Uh, in punitive damages and was before February, February 4th, 2022. Uh, we're past that. I've seen figures at $30 million. <laughs> Uh, but once the uh, waters have uh, been chummed with the free money, you can expect this number to grow and grow. Like I said, on social media, I've seen people claiming as much as $300 million. It's unbelievable. But let's get back to this uh, <laughs> True North story. Uh, many of these tickets have been challenged. Please remove the vehicles. Yeah, so that that yeah, that's the end of it. That's the end of it. We... We're in a situation where people are being threatened with lawsuits, and I'm sure all of you have been on social media, on Facebook or on Twitter, the you know the hyperbolic chamber, as I like to call it. I used to tell people, I go to Twitter so you don't have to, but uh, things have been mellowing out. Well, we'll see. We'll see as Elon Musk uh, goes, but um, a lot of people have been joining me over there and having the fun. But yeah, lots of people claiming Massive lawsuits coming for those who uh, donated to the Freedom Convoy. Of course, that was uh, hacked information, and hacked information is not admissible in a court of law. So good luck uh, proving anyone uh, beyond a reasonable doubt uh, actually even donated. Uh, by the way, all that money was uh, returned back to uh, the donators. Uh, 
via first first uh, go GoFundMe and then Give Send Go, which uh, was reluctant in having uh, well they were forced to uh, return that money to the people. Uh, or submit it, or have it confiscated by the Trudeau regime. So <laughs> that's the that's the route they took. Anyway, that's all I got for you on this one. So if anybody tells you that they're get you're getting sued for billions and billions and trillions of dollars <laughs> for having supported the Freedom Convoy, it's a bunch of well, it's a bunch of BS. So anyway, enjoy that, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep on trucking.